power rating and uh, energy consumptions power rating if you check the electrical appliances in your house uh, the fan uh, radios uh, or TV okay uh, you may see these things okay this label eh? okay so uh, what I want you to take note is this one okay this one eh? 240 volt uh, 1200 watt now usually it's two, 240 volt eh? usually they will give you 240 volt uh, except except uh, those uh, appliances that you you bought it directly from China. China is 220, 220 volt. Eh? And uh, if you bought it from a uh, United States, uh, it's a 110. Okay, 110. Or Japan is also 110. If you bought the electrical appliances directly, yeah, directly from uh, this uh, United States or Japan, then you get a 110 and 120. So for those uh, 110 and 120, you cannot use in Malaysia unless you use a transformer transformers to step down the voltage that only you can use eh? you cannot use it directly now this 240 volt uh, 1200 watt eh? this is called the power rating eh? power ratings of the electrical appliances now what does this mean eh? this 240 volt 12, uh, 1200 watt eh? what does this mean it means if this electrical appliances is connected to a source of 240 volt if you connect it to 240 volt eh, then the power the power will be 1200 watt so if you connect it to 240 watt eh, the power is 1200 watt if you connect it lower than uh, 240 uh, 240 watt uh, then the power will be lower if you connect it to a higher voltage uh, then the power will be higher but 240, uh, I think uh, this is the highest already in, uh, in all the countries in, in, uh, in the world. Uh, 240 is the highest. Uh. In United States, they use 110, 110 only. Or 120, I'm not very sure. Either 110, 10 and 120. Uh, actually, 240, 200, 240 watts are, um, are more efficient uh, compared to 110 or 120. Okay, and uh, this is the frequency, but this, this frequency is not important, okay? So that is what does this uh, 240 volt 1200 watt means eh? okay if you connect it to a 240 watt source then the power of this electrical appliances is 1200 watt and 1200 watt means that this electrical appliances will use up or consume 1200 joule in one second 1200 joule in one second eh? that's that is a 1200 watt okay what is how much energy change in one second example ninth above rated 240 watt 80 watt is operated from 120 watt power source find the resistance and the current flows through it uh, the resistance will remain the same will remain the same eh? Uh, if you connect it, either you connect it to 240 watt or 120 watt, the resistance will be the same. So, so you can use this to find the resistance, even though you connect to 120 watt. Eh? Even you connect connect it to 120 watt, you can still use this 240 watt, 80 watt to find your resistance. So you don't need to use this to find your resistance eh? because uh, we, if you use this one, then we don't have uh, enough information for that. So now let's let's down the information that we have first. Uh, first of all, we have voltage. Uh, voltage V equal to two four zero watt, and the power P equal to eighty watt. And we are asked to find the resistance R equal to what? Now take note that uh, I use V equal to two four zero watt, uh, two hundred forty watt, not one hundred twenty, because I can use this information to find my resistance because the resistance is still the same if we connect to this uh, 120 volt what's the formula that I can use to find my resistance what's the formulas of the power there are uh, four formulas of power right so P equal to V square over R 
Uh, my P is uh, 80 and my V is 240 square R. So use your calculator, find the resistance, okay? 720 ohm. So that's the resistance, huh? that's the resistance. Now the second part, huh? they want you to find the current. Now if they ask you to find the current, can you use this 240 volt for your calculations to find the current? If we use V equals to 120 volt, eh, can we get the same R equals to 720? Um, okay, now the problem is that if V equals to 120 volt, what's your P? What's your P? You don't know your P when V equal to 120 volt. Because this one, 80 watt is if the electrical appliances, uh, this electrical appliance is uh, is connected to 240 volt. If it connect to 240 volt, then 80 watt. If 120 watt, you don't know the power. If you know the power, you should get the same thing. You should, you should get the same answer, 7, 720 ohm. But you don't know the power. You cannot use this power and this voltage cannot. Eh? Uh, so you must use 240 volt. 80 watt. You cannot use 120 watt. 80 watt cannot. 80 watt only if it is connected to 240 watt. The, uh, we we are asked to find the current. Eh? For current, we cannot use 240 watt. Why? Because it is connected to 120 watt. If it's connected to 120 watt, uh, then the current will be lower. Okay, so you cannot use 240 volt to find the current, but you can use this tool to find the resistance because the resistance remain the same, even if you it is connected to 120 volt. Eh? To find resistance, yes, you can use this. To find current, cannot. You cannot use this eh? because uh, we are connected to 120 volt, and the power will be lower. The power is no more 80 watt, eh? so cannot. Uh, so to find current. Then we need to have a, a new set of information. So our V equal to 120 watt, and our R equal to, uh, okay, this one remain the same. The resistance remain the same, 720 ohm, okay? And we are asked to find the current, right? I equals to what? Uh? So what's the formula that we can use to find our current? We have V, R, and, and we asked to find I. So what's the formula that we can use to find our current? V equal to IR, yes, that's correct. V equal to IR. So uh, V is uh, 120. I, we don't know. And R equal to 720. So I equal to 120 divided by uh, 720. So what's the answer? 1 over 6. Uh? Right, 1 over 6 ampere. Okay, or 0 0.166. Uh? 0 0.166 or 1 over 6 ampere. Uh, this example, so from this example, we learned that we can find the resistance of uh, resistor or electrical appliances. Uh, electrical appliance, if we know the power rating, eh? uh, even though it's connected to other uh, source, power source, eh? uh, the resistance still the same. So we can use this one to find the resistance. Uh, after finding the resistance, then we can use this resistance to find the uh, the current the power okay when we we and uh, when it's connected to this uh, 120 volt okay now let's try to find the power okay let's try to find the power uh we have v and r okay we have v and r so p equal to v square over r eh? and uh our v is 120 volt square and our r is a uh, 720 ohm so what's the answer what's the power when this bulb is connected to uh, 120 watt 20 watt so now you see if it's connected to 120 watt you only get 20 watt it's not 80 watt 80 watt only if it's connected to 240 watt so the power is much lower when it's connected to 120 watt energy consumptions energy consumption is how much energy used eh? how, how much energy used okay so uh, the amount of electrical energy consumed in a given time eh, uh, can be calculated by using this formula e equal to pt uh, this is from the formula power equals to energy change divided by time eh? so therefore e equal to 
PT. So how much electrical energy used or how much electrical energy consumed can be calculated by this formula E equal to PT. Okay. Uh, the larger the power rating uh, in the in an electrical appliance, the higher the energy used. So when P is high, the E is high, and of course, the longer the time you use, uh, uh, more energy is used. So longer longer usage times higher electrical energy use. Uh. So electrical energy use is uh, is affected by the power rating, and uh, and the time taken. Uh. Okay, the times the electrical appliance is used. In SPM, usually you are asked to uh, calculate the cost of electricity consumption. Okay, how much you need to pay yeah, if you use uh, a certain uh, electrical appliances for a certain time periods, certain periods of times. Yeah. It's very very important for us to know that the unit use to calculate the cost. Yeah, is kilowatt hour okay it's kilowatt hour this is kilowatt hour uh, that is um, how much energy will you use uh, in one hours kilowatt in one hour kilowatts uh, in one hours okay yes uh, that's very important for you to know eh? the unit that we use is kilowatt hour now if the unit that we use is a kilowatt hours so when you do the calculations uh, you are advised to change or change the unit of power to kilowatt and change the units of times to hour uh, then we can find the uh, electrical energy consumed uh, in kilowatt hour easily so one unit one unit of electrical user is equal to one kilowatt hours so it's a domestic units of electricity yeah so therefore Okay, the power uh, it changed to uh, kilowatt and uh, the times changed to hours. Eh? And uh, one kilowatt hours is equal to 3.6 million joule, uh, 3.6 mega joule uh, or 3.6 million joule. Mega, one mega is equal, equals to one million. But normally we don't use this unit. Eh? We don't use joule. We use kilowatt hour okay, for the calculation. Examples. Eh? TNB charge 22 cents for each kilowatt of electrical energy used. Okay, calculate the total cost of using a two kilowatt electric kettle for 15 minutes and a two uh, and a 20 watt filament bulb for eight hours. So how much total cost? Uh, okay, for these two electrical appliances. Uh, so how much you need to pay? Uh, two kilowatt electric kettle for the 15 minutes. Let's say you uh, you use this to boil water. Use this electric kettle to boil water for 15 minutes. And also uh, you switch on the filament bulbs, uh, 20 watt. It's uh, quite quite low actually, 20 watt, 20 watt, uh, quite low. Uh, you switch on this bulb for eight hours. So all together, how much energy you use. Okay, now uh, for the first electrical appliance, uh, the kettles, uh, the power P1 is equal to two kilowatt. Okay, now this is already in kilowatt, so we don't need to change. Uh. And the time taken, T1 is equal to 15 minutes. Okay. Now this is in minutes. Uh, we need to change this to hours. Don't change to seconds. Eh? Don't change to seconds. For electric cities consumption, eh, you must change it to hours because the unit is in uh, kilowatt hours. Okay, 15 minutes, eh, change to hour, we divided by 60. Okay, 15 divided by 60. Uh, this is equal to 0 0.25 hours. That is a... Uh, P1, T1. Eh? For the bulb, bulb, P1 equal to 20 watt. Eh? But uh, we want it, we want the unit in kilowatt. So to change to kilo, we need to divide it by 1000. Eh? To change watt to kilowatt, divide it by 1000, then it becomes kilowatt. Eh? Or uh, 0 0.02 kilowatt. And the time taken, T2. Eh? Okay, this is 2, eh? not 1. Okay, T2 equal to 8 hours. Eight hours so that is the power and the time of the usage eh? times of usage of this uh, electrical appliances so the total energy total energy use e equal to p1 t1 plus p2 t2 eh? okay so for the kettles two times 
zero point two five, and for the bulbed, uh, zero point zero two kilowatt times eight. How much energy used? Zero point six six. Huh? Zero point six six. Okay, the unit is kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour. So we have used zero point six six kilowatt hours. Then uh, how much you need to pay for this? Okay, let's do it. So uh, how much you need to pay is equal to zero point six six. Huh? And then multiply by uh, 22 cent, 22 cent, so 22 cent. Okay, so how many cent? 14.5 or 15 cent, right? Let's round up to 15 cent. Okay, you need to pay 15 cent. 14.52 uh, or 15 cent. So you need to pay 15 cent for this, uh, uh, a kettle and uh, 8 hours use of this uh, filament bulb. So it look very little, right? But you must remember, okay? Your house not only use one bulb, you have uh, many, many bulb, and the power is not 20 watt, uh, it should be higher than 20 watt. And you use the kettles a few times a day, and you still have TV, air cons. So all together, all together, maybe you are going to use about 10 ringgits a day. If you use 10 ringgit a day, then uh, one month is it will be a 300 ringgit. This is sen, not uh, ringgit. Okay, it's sen, <laughs> 15 sen. Just one kettle sir, for 15 minutes and uh, a buck for eight hours. So that is how we calculate the cost for electricity consumptions. So always remember the unit is in kilowatt hour. Uh, the power, right, okay, the unit must be in kilowatt and the time must be in hour. Power in kilowatt, time in hour, and therefore the electrical energy use is in kilowatt hour. Don't give Joe, eh? don't give Joe, because the unit is in kilowatt hour.